Hi everyone. Being a physics teacher, I would like to tell you few things just ahead of NEET 2021. It's about six days. So in these six days, the last day just before the examination, please just relax. Don't try to read or don't try to cover everything in the last minute which gives you so much tension so that you may get uh, disappointed or depressed or you may get disturbed mentally so which may affect your performance. So I request everyone not to study anything just before the examination, just one day prior. Relax. But these five days what you have to do? It's all about triple R. Read, revise, remember. So that these three together will take you to the best fourth R. That is the result. So read everything, revise thoroughly and remember without any confusion in all the, with all the perfection you can. So that you can get the best deserved result. So I wish you very all the best. And one more thing, when you, when it comes to the question paper, there are two sections. In section A, 30 questions, you have to attend 30 compulsory. See, if your target is 160 plus in target in physics, then you have to attempt more than 40 questions. So that means you must to be precise and sure about all the things, whatever you have studied till now. See, the truth is you have worked very hard, you learned many things. And if your target is high, you could have already learned all the things. Now just revise them. So that each and every question, you can read it and you can understand and you can do it within one minute, which is not a simple job. So just practice the thing like reading the question with full concentration and collecting the data and then the proper conversion immediately and then try to relate the things between the data and the quantities what they are asking in the question so that you can give your best and you can get best result. Suppose if you are targeting for 120 plus then choose wisely leave few questions as choice which you feel very tough but there you need to take care like you have to read the question and understand within 15 seconds not more than that. The unattended questions you should not waste time for them. You should read them in lesser time and you should understand them that you cannot do it. And avoid all the silly mistakes, calculation part or formula part whatever it is. And in section B, so out of 20, you can take 5 questions as options, I mean choice. So there also you need to be wise and smart which questions to be attempted. So take those decisions immediately. So depending on the topics which you are perfect, so that you can get the 100% correct answer. And if you are targeting for minimum just managing like 80 above marks just so that you can get some good range of mark I can uh, manage the balance in a better manner if you think then just focus on second PU syllabus revise the second PU syllabus thoroughly because you may get around 30 questions only from second PU syllabus this time so concentrate on that. So take care of everything.
but one final thing when you read the question there are two types of questions usually most of the times like while reading the question you collect the data convert the units then look at whether the data given or the quantity asking can be connected with a direct formula or the other type is you may have to take one formula and another formula when you combine them then only you can get the answer like so the data given can be used in two or three formulas so that you can get the quantity whatever they are asking in the question so accordingly you try to save the time and you try to spend the time means there are few questions direct questions conceptual based or theory based or direct information based which you can attempt very easily but you must make sure yourself that you have studied you remembered perfectly there you save your time you can answer within third, less than uh, 15 seconds or 30 seconds but some other questions where direct formula based question there you can do it in particular time like less than one minute but those questions which are based on application based multiple formula based or manipulation based there you need more than one minute so there you spend this save time so that you can manage the time and try to finish the total paper whether you can attempt 20 questions or 30 questions within 45 minutes first go through the question paper try to attempt try to solve all the questions whatever you can and one more thing after completing the 45 questions then again you revise for 10-15 minutes whatever you felt you can whatever you have doubt so check them again now one more thing that is if you start the question paper from the beginning and if you are feeling difficult and nervous then go for the start from the end or else now section A, section B, 2 are there then you do that first you start section A if you are feeling difficult then you go to the section B sometimes it works and last thing so take the important chapters which are easy and important like modern physics complete modern physics is easy most of the times I am try to practice and revise everything calculation based questions formula based questions will come I am just have a peaceful mind focus on reading the question I am try to understand the question in a perfect manner do the calculation in a systematic manner and a fast manner then you will get the correct answer so I wish you very all the best so you all get success you all get good result so thank you all of you all the best